All right, Joey, going back to uh, Vegas on Friday, obviously the first goal, you were right on the guy, and the reaction you showed was just kind of like, like a, almost, is it like a, this is a frustrating, I can't believe you put it in the upper 90, like, here we go again. Is that the feeling that this team could be feeling after, you know, going down 1-0? Yeah, I don't think it has much. I think it's more just like you said, it's, you know, looking and it's like, oh, hit the crossbar in the post and when yeah. it's like, you know, frustrating in the moment. And that's, yeah. I think, where the reaction was. And, you know, I think like, like we have multiple times, you know, the, the fight back in the second half was really good. And that's what we got to take out of is that, look, you know, no matter what the score is, we're always ready to, to come back and, and get back in the game. But, you know, I think with, with the players we have, the personalities we have, the, you know, the mental fight that we have, you know, it's, it's going to start turning around. We've seen three straight weeks that you've come out in different formations. How difficult is that for the boys, you know, chopping and changing the tactics every week? You know, I think it, it reflects on the players that we have because I think the, the coaching staff trusts us. So I think they understand that we have a good knowledge of the game, a good intelligence. And, you know, we have to try to figure something out. And that's what we've been doing. So we're, you know, trying a couple of different things the last couple of weeks. But at the end of the day, it comes down to the players performing. And, you know, I think there were good moments and there were moments that we got to get better. Is there anything, any of those formations that you feel like has worked better than others? Well, it's hard to say. It's kind of a small sample size. But, you know, I think, again, however we come out, it's, it's more about, you know, the fight and the mentality than, than the formation. I think however we play, we have the technical component, we have the, you know, intelligence component, we have the physical component. So it's just about putting it all together in a game. What's been, other than the results, what's been something that's kind of surprised you over the last month or so with the fact that you guys, it's not like you guys are getting smashed. You guys are in each and one of these games. Is there something that keeps surprising you or you're just like, you can't get over that hump? I wouldn't, I mean, obviously the results have been surprising. We weren't expecting to be in this position at this point in the season, but, you know, I think with the guys we have, we, you know, we meet as a team, we're a family, we're, we're together. Like we, you know, the bond is, is incredible between the players and the staff and, you know, that's what is motivating for us because we know we want to win for each other. You know, we want to win for the guy next to us, for the coaches, for, for the fans, for everybody. So that's what has been a pleasant surprise out of it is that we're sticking together and we can, we can fight through anything. What would it mean for you guys to be able to end the losing streak here at home in front of your fans? Oh, it'd be great. I mean, you know, playing Orange County, that's always a good game, always a tough game. Uh, but playing at home, we got to get back to to showing our dominance and, and making people afraid to play here, which is which is what we do best. And what's your guys' confidence level in the squad like going into this game? Confidence is still really high. I mean, it's I like like I said before, I'm, we've had a couple bounces not go our way. Um, you know, obviously the performances haven't been to the level that we expect from ourselves, um, but I think we have everything we need and we know that. So we know going into every game that, you know, this is gonna be the game we turn it around. So what's gonna be the key then to getting the result of Orange County? I think just, you know, 90 minutes, focused, concentrated. Um, you know, we, we have good spells during games, and then we have spells where, you know, maybe it's not the best that we're playing. So I think if, once we start putting that together and just being consistent for the full 90 minutes, I think that's going to be when we start, you know, seeing the, the rewards of our hard work. And what do you think the reason is for that drop-off? Because like you said, it's over multiple games where you guys have really good spells, and then it falls off for a little bit, and often you can see it. So what do you think the reasoning is just for that? You know, it's hard to say. I mean, sometimes, you're in a rough patch and that's where you have to lean on each other and you have to rely on you know the bond that we have and the connection that we have and I think that's what makes this squad unique is you know I think over our careers we've all been on teams that we're struggling and you know it's different here because it's never expected you know we're supposed to we're supposed to win and that's how we that's how we go in every game so I think you know the fact that we've all been in that situation we all fought so hard to be here in Phoenix we love the club we love our teammates and our staff so I think you know that will will compel us to keep doing better. Robbie just told us that Shantz and Rick has the locker room. If you agree with that statement, how do you think he kind of keeps the locker room? Can you describe a little bit about how he's been doing that? Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, staff, players, the connection is, is incredible. And, and they have faith in us. We have faith in them. So that's why we know that, you know, this, this rough patch is, is going to be figured out. And, you know, they believe in us. They know that we can get the job done. And we have full confidence in them because they, they keep supporting us. They keep giving us everything we need. And, you know, it's, it's, it's down to us starting to, to get wins. And a lot of the times when you guys have been successful in the postseason, there's been kind of a little bit of something like this, a rough patch, either, either before the playoffs or even during the season. Is there any talk about that in terms of, like, we've been here before? Yeah, you know, I mean, you go back over the years that, that I've been here, and I know after the 20-game win streak, you know, it was a bit of a rough patch going into playoffs. And, you know, it's just about 
moving up the table and collecting points and and you know playing better every week and and then once we get to the end of the season hopefully be rolling